Step one, numbing cream, very important. Step two is a lot of alcohol. <laughs> I've washed my face and I look a little bit crazy. My, my face is relatively numb. Definitely harder to do on myself than on my patients. Basically getting all that under eye area injected. And then I'm gonna go a little bit in my cheek. This does hurt, I can feel it for sure. It's not like horrible, horrible, but you know, it's definitely a needle in my face. Just kind of giving what we call subdermal injections underneath the skin there. I'm also gonna do some right in here because that tends to be an area that I have a little bit of um, volume loss. Good. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna hit these little guys. It's a sensitive area. The thing about this is it doesn't actually sting as much as um, PRP stings. When you inject that, it really burns. This doesn't, this doesn't feel quite like that. I'm gonna go a little underneath here this little lip section. Okay, not too bad. One side done. That is the easier side for me because I'm right-handed. Now I gotta do this side. And you can see the difference already. I mean, this is all, I like the extra volume. That will, some of that will go down, but we're trying to kind of plump up that skin in there. And then I'll do uh, more injections here in a minute with the intradermal injections. Side number two. Make sure I get the air out. Make sure the needles go in the right direction. And this is a little bit more difficult for me. Put my finger there so I don't go too far up into the around the eye area. I can feel the needle when it gets close to my finger and I can pull it back, which is what I'm doing. Okay, this is a tough angle. I'm going to go back down that cheekbone a little bit. I hit this same little spot in here where I really want to have some nice clean looking okay and then I'm going to get these nasolabial folds ouch that one kind of hurts Not as numb here as I would like. Oh, ooh, that's spicy. Spicy, spicy. This whole side is not very numb, it turns out. Do a better job numbing myself next time. A little bit more here. Woo! Woo! All right. 
those injections are done. I'm gonna do some intradermal injections. So those were subdermal, which means they were below the dermis. Now I'm gonna do intradermal, um, especially around my eyes and around here, and just hit those with a little bit smaller needle that doesn't go as deep. So hopefully these won't hurt too bad. You can see though with those subdermal, you know, I did a few injections, like maybe what, four injections, and was able to basically inject all of this, all of this, all of this, and all of this with four injections. Subdermal. This I'm just going right under that top layer of skin. And these will leave little blebs for a bit. You see that? Those little blebs. They'll go away. So the goal here is to try to increase my own collagen production and over time increase elastin and hyaluronic acid. So just trying to get the skin to act a little bit more youthful. Ow! Oh, that one hurt. I wanna do my upper lip, but it's gonna hurt so bad. I don't know if I can. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that one hurt. That middle one, ow. I was not numb there all the way. I feel like I'm scaring you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the intradermal over here. It's kind of my... Just going right in to the intradermal area. Just like these little tiny blebs in the skin. Some spots are pretty numb, and then I'll hit a spot that's not numb at all. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's spicy. So can you see these little blebs? Those are, that's how you know it's intradermal, which means just right into that dermis. The spot that I know is not numb is right in here. So I gotta be fast. Mm. Oh, this is going to hurt. <sighs> One more. Oh, yep, that hurt. Do this with patience. Usually they're actually asleep. Um, not that you can't do it awake, but my patients, we tend to sedate them for because we're doing stem cell injections in all parts of the body. And so they're usually asleep for this part. Just do a little tiny one of my jaw here. Okay, the hard part is over. And now it's just microneedling. So that part, the next part's easy. So for microneedling, I'm just gonna put a little bit of, of um, hyaluronic acid serum on my skin to start him at about 1.75 mil, um, millimeters. And we're just gonna go over that skin. Again, I do have numbing cream on, so this is not painful. So exosomes could actually fit, they could actually get through the skin barrier. 
So you might have seen some exosome based skin products that are out there now that are made from um, like culture media. When they do, when they grow stem cells, they grow them in this culture media and the stem cells will release these growth factors, these sort of growth factor encased bubbles of information called exosomes or extracellular vesicles is the other name, extracellular vesicles. So those uh, exosomes are only about 50 to 100 nanometers in size, which means they can actually go through the skin barrier just by applying them topically. You don't even have to do this, this step here, this microneedling, but it takes them um, about 18 hours to get through even the top layers of skin. And so if you really want to get a deeper penetration of those, whoa, camera, those exosomes, then it's better to do something that interrupts the skin barrier, like microneedling or like a radiofrequency uh, microneedling or something like that, so that you're, you're interrupting the skin barrier. Derma rolling would do it. Um, so that the exosomes can get can get right in without having to spend you know 24 hours or more kind of navigating the skin surface. So you, get, you can see I'm getting kind of pink, which is perfect. I'll be a little swollen from those injections, which is fine. That'll go down in a day or two. This is obviously not something that you can do yourself at home. You should not do yourself. This is. Um, a physician grade tool and obviously you should never be injecting your own face with anything ever please don't do that people always ask me after I do these demonstrations how can I make my own exosomes or my own PRP and how can I inject it myself and the answer is you can't you shouldn't it's a bad idea you could certainly hurt yourself you could certainly get an infection. There could be all kinds of ramifications. So don't do that. I do love microneedling. I like to do this. Ideally, I would do it like three or four times a year. In practice, I probably don't do it quite that often. Um, it's really good for reducing pore size. So it's great um, for that. It's really good for just increasing blood flow to the skin. So improves glow. It's good for improving fine lines. It can help with hyperpigmentation, so things like, like darker spots, sunspots, help with that. So forehead is more sensitive and the skin is thinner, so you don't need to go as deep. Definitely need to get help with some fine lines up there for me. Microneedling is also called collagen induction therapy because even if you don't put something on top, like, like PRP or exosomes or vitamin C or other things like that, you can still have just increased uh, collagen production just from the mechanical force of the needles going up and down really quickly. So this is something you could do at a med spa. It's generally very safe for most, if not all skin types. Darker skin, you do have to make sure, doubly, doubly sure that you're wearing sunblock in the weeks and even months afterwards because you can get uh, what's called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So the, just the trauma of this could cause your skin to be darker if you get out in the sun. You can get some sun spots and sort of dark spots there that you may not love. Okay, so that's it. This is right after. I look a little crazy. Uh, these are my um, exosome solution. I'm going to apply this all over those areas that I microneedled. And this is really anti-inflammatory, so it's gonna help pretty quickly to reduce the redness and the swelling, and the skin will start to improve pretty quickly afterwards. Again, I'm just implying, I'm applying those exosomes and hyaluronic acid um, topically. Okay, that's it.